Right everyone, Wef Collector here. Right, you have to excuse people talking in the background and it's coming home from work and I'm working in the evening. I don't know if it was mine, but just thought I'd get it done now. So I'm going to do a another weed slasher sword, but this will be a very simple one. Single-edged, um, undecided on the point, and it'll be a two-handed uh, little sort of sword. It's, it's a little bottle cutting sword for me in metallic reality for when she comes here. She wanted to try something with like a two-handed handle, so I thought, yeah, I can do that, it won't take me long. So that is what this will be, and I've not really got any plans for this, I'm just going to do it as I go along. So, first bit you'll see is me taking the handle off and cutting it off, essentially. Well, the handle may already be off. This is knocking the rivets out, you can do that really easily. So I've covered up the blade, I've actually got it sharp, I'm sticking the two sides to the handle on, and the handles are just going to be these big bits of HDPE, they're a bit dirty now but they'll be cleaned up. Um, they'll be put on like that and it's got enough room to leave a sort of a guard at the top and bottom, just made of plastic. I am having to put a bit of H, not HDP, Kydex here to fill the gap and I'll need a bit at both ends to fill the gaps. So that's been glued on, I'm going to drill these holes, three of these holes, so that I can then glue the other bits on and then rivet it. So the next bit you'll see is riveting it, because it'll literally be a little bit of black there and there, a little bit of black there and there, because the handle will go in and then out. So it'll just be sandwiched like that, pretty easily. I may, depending on how thin this is, um, I might glue it, I'm going to glue it, and then I might see if I can, well I'll, I'll have to wrap the handle I think if I have to, and I could always wrap some string around it I suppose if it's not thick enough, but we'll see how it goes. Right, so I've riveted the handle on, so now I'm going to cut out that kind of shape, so I'll just do it with a rough saw first, just cutting in, and then I'll start shaping it, and then if it's particularly thin I might wrap the handle. Certain HDPEs, actually a lot of them, you can struggle to get quite smooth. Um, I'm probably going to spray this handle and wrap the handle as well, but this was just to give it the, you know, the basic shape. Uh, bulk it out and do it quite easily. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over it with a heat gun. It'll get rid of all little scraggly bits. Um, and then I'm going to think how I'm going to finish the handle.
Right, I've decided I'm going to string wrap this um, handle. So what I'll be doing, I'll just be going round with the string and I've soaked, well I'm not soaked, but I've covered the handle in glue so that the string will stick to it and go hard. I've made one weird fuck up though. I just brushed this on and there was leather dye on the brush and that's made the, the glue go pink. So this string may be pink by the end of it, but um, it doesn't really matter. Right, it's certainly going to be a weird old thing, but um, it should be comfortable and you know, it should cut well if you want to use two hands. So yeah, a bit weird looking. I might do something else. I don't know if I'm going to colour this and colour these ends, but it could be left just like this. Um, it just looks a bit dirty, that's all. So I'll think about that. I'm going to maybe spray those ends or something. The problem is you can't really do much with HDPE. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially it done. So what I'll do is I'll just show you it next you know just cleaned up basically because that is the build essentially apart from maybe colouring these ends if I can maybe colouring the handle the blade is done and sharp alright so there it is don't forget to watch the rest of the footage